armies of a quarter of a million men assembled by Hitler were unleashed against an American front of 75,000 men stretched thinly over 85 miles of Belgian soil. A savage onslaught that could have turned the tides of war and history. This man is General Meinrad von Laschet. He was the commander of the second German Panzer Division in that Battle of the Bulge. Now he is here because a Warner Brothers motion picture is being filmed. Battle of the Bulge, a full-scale adventure in Cinerama, starring Henry Fonda and Robert Ryan, a spectacular account of one of World War II's greatest moments. Through personal experience, many will recall vividly how their enemy looked. Von Laschert is to make certain that the enemy is authentic. Every German uniform and German medal once again passes through his inspection. Robert Shaw, the English actor, plays a role that could have been von Lauschert himself in 1944 when he moved his panzer forces toward the infamous town of Malmedy with Hitler's words ringing in his ears. The battle must be fought with brutality and all resistance shall be broken in a wave of terror. Once again, von Lauschert is at that same crossroads, but now with one of the stars of the film, Henry Fonda. I have the role of the American officer in intelligence who suspects the Germans are readying a surprise attack. A co-star, Dana Andrews, and I are having a roadside conference before our next call to the front. Reminiscent of the actual battle, James MacArthur and George Montgomery are misdirected by Ty Harden, a German paratrooper disguised as an American MP. Further down the road is the town of Omblev, constructed to Cinerama proportions at a cost of over half a million dollars by the Warner Brothers technicians. Henry Fonda tells of its part in the war and the film. In 1944, there was but one occupant left in the Belgian village during that incredible destruction. A young girl, played here by Pierre Angeli. What thoughts must have run through her head as she readies herself for a rehearsal of her pathetic role for Miss Angeli was a youngster in Europe during the war. Logistics play a big part in war or motion pictures. With thousands of men cast as German soldiers, it was necessary to have technical advice on the details of their operations. General von Lauschert provided it. Opposing him on the Allied side, three American advisors covered the battlefield area, checking equipment and men. Warner Brothers moved in tons and tons of weapons and ammunition. Hundreds of vehicles and tanks were brought to battle readiness. Thousands of little things kept cropping up. The waging of war, even on film, brings staggering supply problems. first week of December 1944, the Germans were still building up for the attack in the Ardennes. There had been intelligence reports indicating a shift of some divisions, giving the Germans a total of 28. The Americans stretched only four divisions along the same area. A calculated risk was taken that they could mount an attack before the Germans discovered this weakness. They didn't get away with it. Hitler had started his mad march to the sea. Lunch, and the war waits.
The sun is out, and the war waits. A visitor to the set, Robert Shaw's wife, actress Mary Ewer. And the war must wait. In life and in war, everyone waits. The Klieg lights go on one by one, and the war comes to life again. The camera crews set themselves. Director Ken Anakin quickens the tempo. Tiger tanks prepare for action. 21 years ago, another arm was raised just like this. The assault and destruction of Omblev is underway once again with the dreaded Tiger tanks and their murderous 90 millimeter guns leading the German infantry. Then, as now, the tank commander surveys the terrain and battle alignment. Operation Christ Rose moves on with its deadly purpose, relentlessly, while the cameras and sound men follow in its path of destruction. Raged on in harrowing intensity for days without end. The German tide was finally turned. Henry Fonda recalls how that defeat came about. If victories are measured in lives saved, the Battle of the Bulge was a great one. The battle was won not by chance, by force of numbers, or by air superiority. It was won by the GI. The things that made him a fair garrison soldier, independence, cockiness, love of luxury, made him finally a deadly fighter. That struggle did not end until well into the new year of 1945. For some, it has never ended and never will. The Battle of the Bulge was von Lauschert's last. After escaping more than 400 miles from the Ardennes forest, he was finally imprisoned. After trial and acquittal of war crimes at Nuremberg, he was released. Now he lives on a small farm. He has no place in the world of today. His job here is finished. He will not be called on again.